Are you tired of the daily grind that is modern gaming? Do your balls shrivel up every time you buy the newest Call of Duty bundle, which by the way is the newest Kong bundle, is $80? Well I got good news for you, because there's this game called Helldivers 2 and you need to play it. It will liberate you from modern gaming. What is going on my fellow gaming warriors, tis the one. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Helldivers 2. <laughs> If you guys have not played this, I know, I feel bad for you Xbox players, I really do, because I truly feel liberated. I don't know about you guys, but I feel liberated from playing, ever playing Call of Duty. I really do. If it weren't for the projects, if it weren't for me crapping on Call of Duty for content, and, you know, because I do enjoy crap on I'm not going to lie. If it weren't for that, I don't see why anyone would play Call of Duty at this point. And I've, I've seen a ton of comments on the last video, by the way, you should check that out. But I've seen a ton of comments on the last video saying, and, you know, c confirming my theory of everything I've been seeing, of Call of Duty players moving over to Helldivers 2 and listening in democracy for freedom, for patriotism. You clowns who are defending Call of Duty and saying, Well, Helldivers 2 is actually not that fun, you know, you're just doing the same thing over and over. What is Call of Duty? What are you doing in Call of Duty? Is it not the same thing over and over and over again? These people who sit here and criticize Arrowhead Game Studios for Putting out, not only put it, putting out a quality game, these guys are listening to the community, they're being transparent. It's like the complete opposite of what we see from AAA game developers. Look at Call of Duty, you could say, oh well it's not the developers fault and Call of Duty is the publishers. Fair. But when I say Activision's 3,000 developers, I'm talking about Infinity Ward, you know, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, all these guys, High Moon. Look, are there 3,000 developers working on these games or not when it comes to Call of Duty? I don't know. But what I do know is that Helldivers 2 Saved, saved us all from Call of Duty, from all these AAA games, whatever you play, Fortnite, Destiny, Halo, whatever it is. Which, by the way, a Halo collaboration would be really cool in Helldivers. But, let me tell you right now. Do you want to be liberated from modern gaming? The daily dreaded grind of modern gaming, the misery, play Helldivers 2. This game reminds me of the PS2 days. I know I said that in the last video. I'm going to keep saying it. But every time I play Helldivers 2, it doesn't matter what difficulty you play on. It really doesn't. You, you, know, you could be a level 1, you could be level 10, you could be level 50, whatever. But at no matter what level you're at, no matter what difficulty you're playing at, the game is just pure fun. And what I love about this is, I've, I've had a bunch of, you know, really cool moments with people from the community in the Helldivers. The Helldivers community is the best, by the way. This game, a lot of people say, oh, it's just another one-hit wonder. People are going to forget about it another month or two. But, I mean, you look at it right now, it seems like it's getting bigger to me. There is a massive audience for Helldivers too. There really is. And, you know, all the clowns, again, the people who are criticizing this game saying, I played it, didn't have much fun. Well, wh how can you sit here and criticize it? The least you can do, even if it's not your game, you know, not your type of game, whatever you say, which is just weird to me. I don't know how you can play Helldivers soon and say you're not having fun. Anyway, you must be playing alone. But getting back to the point, even if it's not your type of game, quote unquote, whatever, weirdo, just, you have to at least admit and admire what Arrowhead Games has done. They are, the, the endless opportunities of Helldivers 2, what Arrowhead can do, also props to Sony, the publishers, but what Arrowhead can do with this game, you know, with all the collaborations they can make, which by the way, this is why I have even more hope for Xbox, it's, it's amazing, but you know, you, you think of collaborations like with Halo would be perfect, you know, ODST, like, just perfect opportunities, the Arrowhead has set themselves up well, and if you are not a fan of or if you have not played the game yet, and if you want to, man, it would be 100% worth it. Obviously, don't go out buying an Xbox, um, yeah, Xbox. Now, sorry, Xbox players. Keep almost rubbing it in your face. I'm not trying to do it on purpose. But if you are an Xbox player, I highly recommend you get Helldivers. I would literally get, if I were you, if I had the opportunity, if I had money to blow, personally, I would get a PlayStation, PS5, or a PC just to play Helldivers 2. It is that much fun. In this game, it doesn't get boring. You know, I've played it over and over and over again. And a lot of people have. They've, they've maxed out their levels and whatnot. And there, it's just, it's an addicting experience. And it's great with friends. You know, because you look at a game like Call of Duty, you're getting banned for AI voice chat moderation. You know, which is why I'm a little bit worried. Because, you know, when you trash talk on these games in Call of Duty, when people genuinely piss you off, this happens to me all the time. But when people genuinely piss you off, you know, it, you gotta worry about, okay, am I gonna get banned for... I'm not even saying anything crazy, I'm just saying, you know, you're a loser, you're camping, you know. When people camp and stuff like that, okay, I have to get on the mic. I feel like it's my responsibility to get on the mic and tell you you're a loser. You are camping. Why are you camping? Can we move? Hey teammates, can we move forward? Can we move forward from the building? You are a dork. You're sitting there playing like it's actual real life and we're not, we're getting blown out. What are you guys doing? 
Anyway, this is just the situation with Helldivers 2. It really is liberating. If you want to get liberated from modern gaming, play Helldivers 2. Play this game right now. I'm telling you, we need to spread managed democracy. Managed democracy, this is the way to free all gamers of, of all this misery in modern gaming. The microtransactions. Again, going back to the point, the little point I made at the beginning. You know, with that Kong bundle from Call of Duty. I don't know if anyone saw that, but I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure everyone has. If you haven't, basically there's four separate bundles from what I've heard. And, you know, because I haven't even... I just, I can't even be bothered right now. I do have to look at it in a bit, so actually, I'm probably going to look at it right now anyway. But, $80 basically for a bundle. But not too long ago, Call of Duty was selling their most expensive bundle ever, 3,400 COD points. You know how much that comes out to? $40. This is the point I made in the last video as well, if you watched that. But, $40 for a bundle, and we touched on this, you know, a few videos back as well. But $40 for a bundle, that was crazy, right? But now... You look at this, this Kong, whatever the hell, Kong glove, what the kind of loser is buying? I don't even know what's going on here with these gaming whales, whatever, the cod suckers are, the cod suckers are going crazy for this thing apparently. But $80 for a freaking glove, are you kidding me? Like what is wrong with their life that you are spending your hard earned money if you're even working hard? You're spending that on a freaking bundle. Just think about it. You spent $80 on a glove that you could have you could have bought Helldivers 2 twice with it cuz Helldivers 2 itself the game of the year probably could very well be game of the year 2024 you could have bought that game twice just keep spreading democracy guys just keep spreading democracy Helldivers 2 is going to go down as one of the best games of the this modern era you know we're going to look back on this game i think it's going to stand the test of time it's going to stand a long time because again Arrowhead games have made it very clear they are this is true live service Helldivers 2 is true live service this is how to update a game this is how to keep the community happy and this is just the way to make a game, keeping the players over the profit. Imagine that. It's just a crazy concept today. But this is the way to make a game. And this is the way to do it. And everyone's happy. Believe it or not. Look, people are buying the microtransactions not even because they really want it. Because they just want to support the developers. And even buying the Super Citizen Edition. You know, just giving them extra money. Just because they, they appreciate, players appreciate when you're authentic and when you're actually real and transparent with your consumers. It's great. It is a great concept. And... Every AAA developer should be, they're probably really worried about what Arrowhead is doing right now. And I think it's a great sign for what gaming is heading towards. And it's gonna, I really do believe this is a shift for the modern gaming era. So again, if you want to get liberated from modern gaming, hop on Helldivers 2. Stay on Helldivers 2, you know where it is. Watch this video if you haven't yet, and don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I am a sentinel. It has been one.